Friday, the last day of June, June 30th, 2023. Man, it feels like just yesterday, I was saying it was January. I couldn't believe it was 2023, and now here we are, more than halfway through 2023. Time is just flying, man. Alright, um, I'm heading to a job that I was supposed to do yesterday. I went to do it yesterday, but of course, just like so many other things, people got it wrong and did it wrong. So I can fix it and make it work, but I'm cutting a lot of stuff down, so... Now I have to come out at the crack of dawn and do it. It's like four in the morning and I gotta wake up at two. I'm just like, ugh, I'm tired. But anyway, today, God, I am thankful for my sobriety. I hit three years and although it doesn't seem like it's been that long, It does feel like it's been that long. Like in a sense, it feels like it was just yesterday, but then in another sense, it feels like time's been dragging. But, uh, yeah. I'm very happy, grateful, and blessed for my sobriety. I thank you, Lord, for that. Secondly, I'm grateful and thankful for the people that God has put in my life. He knows exactly what he's doing and he knows who needs to be in my life and who doesn't. Which is very good. I like that. Um... If it wasn't for godly people in my life, I would definitely not be where I'm at today. Uh, I'm stupid tired. Ugh. And lastly, I am grateful and thankful to know that God is going to give me everything that I need. And teach me along the way while I'm getting it. So, I'm pretty sure that this waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning every day or a few days a week is what's making me so tired and putting me in a mood some days. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Some days I am in a straight up just bad mood. And I'm hoping and praying that, you know, that can change soon. I'm hoping we can get back on a normal schedule. And I can start doing some of these jobs during the day again. Because although this job does pay very well... No amount of money is worth killing yourself over and just going insane to make it. Like, I can do, I'll do this right now, but I definitely don't want to do this forever. Like, definitely not. So, um, went to see Ari yesterday. That was really good. I'm trying to figure, like, people out. I really am. Um, 
I just said hey to Erin, and she like glanced over and just like looked at me. I don't even think she muttered the words hey, and I'm I'm just like wow, man. Like people, I get that people need help and people have issues and stuff, but dang, oh man, like I just don't get it. Like I'm not that type of person. Like I, if somebody says hey, I don't care who you are, I'm gonna say hey. Whether I like you or I don't. Um, but anyway, Nicole was there, which was very good. I was very, very happy to see that. Um, I really hope that she gets something out of all of this. I know she's, you know, kind of skeptical right now. I can just tell by the look on her face and her look of confusion. But I promise, like I keep promising her, it's, it will work if you just continue to come. Because that, that's, that's the hard thing, to convince people to still come. Um, yeah, it's just really hard to do that. Um, I just hope she sticks with it. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to submit bids for these auctions because I really want to start to try. I need another vehicle badly, like very badly. This van is getting to the point where it's literally a safety hazard, not just for me, but for other people. It's been that way for a while now. Um, and then, the dude had yellow headlights, so weird. Um, crap. I forgot totally what I was saying. Um, I just hope she keeps coming. It's, it'll work if you work it. I've, uh, she said something about a spiritual experience and not knowing what that is. And, you know, for the longest time, I had the same problem. I was like, I hear these people talking about this stuff. I have no idea what it means. Did I have one and just not know it? But, no, when you have it, you know it. Like, it is an eye-opening, life-changing experience. I just hope God gives it to her the way that he knows she needs it. That's uniquely hers. Yeah, I haven't really talked to Kenny. I messaged him a few times, but I haven't heard back from him. You know, I, I wish him nothing but the best. And I seriously hope that him and this girl get married one day and do the whole thing. Um, I'd be very happy. That'd be awesome. But I just hope he, I hope one day he understands that, you know, nobody was hating on him. We were all just looking out for him. And a real friend and a real person is the person that's going to tell you how it is and not what you want to hear. And I mean, I've made that mistake too. I've I've told people what they wanted to hear sometimes and you know, I still kind of regret it. But I'm hoping and I'm praying for them. So yeah, I'm gonna go knock this job out. I'm gonna go to Russell's and change out some faucets. Probably gonna end up going to bed early because I'm so dang tired. But it is what it is. I'm blessed. Thank you, God. So, uh, God, today, I thank you for waking me up and giving me another beautiful day on this earth. Today, I give you my mind, my body, and my soul. 
and I ask God that you please walk with me and guide me as I go through this entire day. And I ask God that you, you use me as a light in other people's lives. May, may there be a divine interaction today and may somebody's life be changed. Even if it's in the slightest, the, the slightest thing. God, I have a really, really, really bad case of poison. I think Ivy Oak and Sumac from running in those woods the other day. And it's like seriously bugging the crap out of me. This is day four now. <laughs> and I keep waking up and like I'm like clawing my skin. So God, I ask that you please remove that burden from me. And I ask God that you Please bless this day and bless my CR family, my church family, and keep everybody happy, healthy, and strong in their areas of recovery. And I ask and pray this in Jesus' name, amen.